Good evening and welcome to Edgeley Park, home of Stockport County and Vauxhall Motors opponents tonight in the Cheshire Senior Cup Final. The Motors run to the final has been nothing short of dramatic, with a performance of a season contender away at Tramia Rovers sandwiched by two nail-biting penalty shootout wins. But can they do the business here tonight as they're 90 minutes or so away from Cup glory? I'm delighted to say I'm joined once again by former Vauxhall keeper Steve Hilton. He'll be joining me on match commentary tonight. But first, let's have a look at how the motors got to the final. Vauxhall kicked off their cup campaign at home to fellow Premier Division side Runcorn Town. A winner from Harvey Sample after Michael Berge's opener ensured a 2-1 victory for the motors and progression to round two. where they would face Northern Premier League Division 1 Westside 1874 Northwich in the postponed second round match. Just when it looked like their cup campaign was going to end for another season, Kieran Napper kept the motors alive with a 91st minute equaliser to make it 1-1 and take the tie to penalties. The goalkeeper Kieran Lachlan not only made a series of crucial saves, but stepped up himself to score a spot kick, sending Vauxhall through 6-5 on penalties. Vauxhall visited Prenton Park on a windy Wednesday night for a dream tie against League 2 Tramia Rovers. It was the home side who were hit by a blizzard as a youthful Rovers side couldn't cope with Vauxhall's thunderous display. The Motors stormed to a 2-0 victory in arguably their performance of the season so far. Berkey with the lightning quick opener in the first minute, followed by Hayden Cooper's short-range strike in the second half. Another Northern Premier League side in the shape of Runcorn Linnets awaited in the semi-final. A tight and tense affair finished nil-nil, setting up another nail-biting penalty shootout. O'Loughlin was the hero once again, sparking jubilant scenes at the Van Eupen Arena as he scored and saved in the shootout to win the tie for his team 3-1 on penalties and send the Motors into the final against Stockport County. So Steve, although injury forced you out of the famous game with QPR, you were an integral part of Vauxhall Motors' legendary FA Cup run back in 2002. Describe that feeling of what this current team might be feeling for the match. I think they'll just be excited, you know, what comes around this year. Massive stadium, they're going to be a good crowd here today. Like the Vauxhall Motors, these are the games that you want to play. You know, you're going to be against the wrong players. regularly described this season to me as the good, the bad and the ugly. All of that can be washed away with a cup time tonight. It can be, yeah. It can be. If you can turn a you know, somewhat frustrating season in part into a very successful season. Um, I said before, Mick McGuire's done or something. Um, there has been some really low points. You know, Mackenfield at home was the low point. And when a couple of games we should have won at home, we've lost. But, you know, again, we play in this game. We've cup final, the Cheshire Cup final. We've got a team that's absolutely flying. Go out, win the game, and you know, you, the season finishes on the high. You only finish the last game, you win this, and you know, you play your life. So, what will Nick McGrath be saying to his team? Will he try to take the occasion out of the game, or will he be telling the players to really cherish and enjoy the cup final? I think, first of all, you know, go and enjoy it. Go and enjoy it, and go and express yourselves. I don't know whether he'll try and keep it, you know, nil nil, try and keep it tight for the first 20 minutes, or whether he'll go like we did at Tramia and we went for the jugular at minute one and got that early goal. Uh, first thing I think is goal is fake. You know, we have good four quality. Uh, you know, 
know, there might be a few nerves playing in front of a big crowd and a nice, a nice stadium. So keep it tight, 20 minutes, build into the game. Uh, but just like I can say, go and enjoy it. Go and enjoy it and express yourselves. Let's look at this from a Stockport perspective very quickly. We don't know what kind of side Dave Challoner they put out yet, but is there more pressure on his team to win because they're a National League team? I'd definitely say so, yeah. Um, I'm sure their fans are going to expect a, you know, a comprehensive win tonight. Um, I think we've got bigger fish to fry the ball for conference. Maybe they'll have poor results away on Saturday. Uh, like I say, we don't know whether he's going to play you know, the first team or he's going to rest them because we've got big games coming up. But I think if we, you know, a couple of sides, we're going to reserve, we're going to be quality players. So we're not going to be a stop or can't be you know, you know, good. We're going to be quality across the squad. So, Whatever happens, it'll be a hard game, but the pressure's on them, yeah, definitely. Their fans will be expecting a whole win and a comprehensive whole win today. We've just got to be there, get the pieces up, you know, take our chances when we can. It's a good game, it's 90 minutes, and everything can happen, as we always say. So, I think definitely, you know, we're in it, we're in the final. Don't, don't put the, you know, your lottery on, don't win it. We're certainly in the lottery. So, it's, tonight's a chance for Vauxhall Motors to make history. It's time for you to make a prediction. Can they do it? Yeah, of course we can do it. Of course we can do it. We haven't come here to make the numbers up. Nick will be saying that to the lads. Um, prediction. I'm going to go for 1-1 one, one after extra time. If there's extra time. Penalties. And Keen will lock up to be the hero and score the winner penalty. So I'm joined here with my own teammate Gary Washington. Um, man Mountain of a centre forward. Played for Vauxhall's from the late 80s to the early 90s with myself towards the latter stages. Gary, great to see you here tonight supporting the team. What are you thinking of the game tonight? I think it'll be a walkable really. I think... Um, the box holes? Of course. Uh, there's only one winner in this. But it's just... Um, I'm glad to see that, you know, all the, all the box hole teams that have been in this competition over the years, I'm glad to see one of them finally get to the final. Yeah, we're the first team to get through to the final. Um, does this bring back the days where you wish you were still playing now, Gary? Looking at this pitch, yeah. It does. You'd do a job on this, wouldn't you? Oh, well, I'd have a go, you know. It's, I'd be at that far. You know what I mean? But as you say, it's a perfect playing conditions and I hope the lads do themselves proud tonight. A few deep crosses and a salmon out of water, Gary Watson. Oh, yeah. far post, isn't it? Like Who a salmon. Is? Like a salmon. So again, Gary, hope you enjoy the game and fingers crossed you can bring that trophy on tonight. Thank Great atmosphere here in Edgley Park for the Cheshire Senior Cup final between Stockport County and our very own Vauxhall Motors. If you spend any extended period of time at Vauxhall Motors, you'll be graced with stories of the famous 2002 FA Cup run, including our famous win against QPR. This current team have the chance to go one better and write their names in the history books for Vauxhall Motors forever. As always, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Steve Hilton on commentary duty tonight. Steve, welcome. Thanks, Patrick. Massive game. Great stadium. Let's run through the teams for tonight's cup final. We we'll start with the hosts, Stockport County. Number one, in goal, Luca Ashby Hammond. Number two, and captain, Jordan Keane. Three, Zane Francis Angol. Four, Cody Johnson. Five, Scott Holding. Six, Anthony Sarah Sosevich. 7 Elliot Newby, 8 Alex Reid, 9 Courtney Duffus, 10 Ben Whitfield and 11 Colin James. And the starting 11 for Motors, it's the referee checks his watch, all set to go, great atmosphere in Edgley Park, and we're underway, quick work through the boxer team, the one Kieran O'Rockman in goal, 2 Ethan Colborne, 3 Greg Drummond, 4 Simon Thelwell, 5 and Captain Tom Mitchell, 6 Hayden Cooper, 7 Kieran Napper, 8 Neil Riley, 9 Craig Kearns, 10 Ben Holmes and 11 Michael Burney. Right, take 2, I'd like to welcome Steve. Steve, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, thanks for having me again, Patrick. Um, great atmosphere in here. There's not that many in here compared to what you usually have for the home game, but creating a lot of noise. Pitch looks absolutely fantastic, perfect conditions. And you know, look around this ground, it's a football league ground all day, so you know, the lads must be chopping a bit to get out there and get started. Um, great occasion for them, great opportunity to become the first Foxhall team to win this cup. Foxhall and their chain strip of 
neon toxic yellow, I would say. Are the hosts in a traditional blue? Make a lot of noise from behind that goal. <laughs> As you said, Steve, a, a sparse crowd, but a great noise inside the stadium. Yeah, I think they've been throwing some of this ground out to um, 10,000. I've been to one of the, the staff before. Um, like I say, it's not where they can pass you, but good on the fans for making uh, a great atmosphere from behind uh, the goal we're attacking the first half. So, a free kick for Stockport, taking short. Good side. Indecision in the box back line. It's a great block. And it was a shot from Alex Reed in the end. He's Ben Holmes is forced to block it for a corner, Stockport's corner, first corner of the game. It's a comfort mistake, uh, you know, I'm sure Mick would have said, first 20 minutes, keep it as tight as we can, let's not concede, stay in the game, we need to not make mistakes like that, you know, we could have been to beat 1-0 down early on, but a great block. Space perhaps here for the striker, comfort. Great save. Absolutely great save. It was a cross goal and Alonso got fingertips to it to push it around the post. Yeah, he just waited for the net to ripple there, bottom corner. Uh, great stretch from Pino Lock and the man was coming in to make it difficult as well, but a great save. Just give him a great confidence that. It's a short corner routine. Comes out to number 10, he takes a shot from distance. Yeah, corner again. He comes off Larry for another corner in the opposite corner. A strong run from Newby. He finds Jennings on his left hand side. Cuts in. That's a ball across the box. Great defender. Great defender from Drummond. Clear the ball off the line. Starting to build, build a couple of better pressure in the last couple of minutes. Get on the ball a bit more, find the little pockets. Cross comes in with the header. It's off the cross bar. Looks like it was Jennings with the head of it. Great play on the left hand side by Elliot Newby. He picks out Jennings who. It was a free header, really. It was on Mars. It was a free header. Uh, could only find Kieran Orton's bar and it's cleared away from I'm going to say Kieran got a touch on that. He was close to it. He was close to it. Now, oh, well, that's the free kick. Looking for Mitchell. He flicks it on, but Kent's got it. Oh! He was all alone in the box, Craig Kent. The ball just couldn't sit for him, and he shoots it over the bar. The keeper looked troubled. Any chance of needed to We're not going to get many. It was a great see, flick on for Mitchell. You could see it was going to see what he was going to do, and you know, probably just half a yard in front of him to whip his foot round and keep it under control and just put it over the bar. He beat the offside shot brilliantly, the Stockport defenceman, statuesque. Still on. It's the head of Reed. And in the end, the pressure is told. Alex Reed on showers in the box, puts the header in, it's the box all goal and Reed celebrates in front of the box all fans. Yeah, just before half time as well, bad time to see. Great ball in, good header, give him a two. Look at the final top corner from where we're sitting here. All to do the second half. Then it's Sarsevic and Newby over the ball. Newby leaves it. So we have Reed's head for a goal kick. And the ref. Whistle the blow. And it blows for half time. The pressure eventually told. Stop off with the line share of possession and chances. And on the 40th minute mark, Alex Reed nods the goal into making stop for County 1, box almost is nil. Steve? It's not quite 1-0 up, but Vauxhall by no means out of this. No, no. The game was how I thought it would be. A lot of possession, few really chances, kept at bay. You know, it's not only one side. We've got a, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a you know, two or three chances in the first half. Uh, 
Just call for a call to cross, but I have a call to players, but not at the game, you want to go down. Set, next goal has been very important. You go to go down to the tackle. Tack. Get the equaliser. Right back in this. It's going to get off to a rough part for the tight second down. Boxo still within a chance in this Cheshire Senior Cup final. Half time, Stockport County 1, Boxo Motors 0. Horse goes through to Newby. He can't quite get the ball into the box. Uh, cross into the box. Sean Mitchell, good position again. Still got a few down this game. Force, he has the box. Connor Jennings who had the freedom of stop force. He's had the ball, come down, set himself, hit on the half volley. Kieran O'Loughlin will be disappointed and it goes through his legs. Yeah, it's, it, it, he's caught it well, but yeah. Jennings got space in the box, he lays it off. And it's a shot. There's good link up play between Jennings. And the eventual goal scorer Newby. And he slots a neat shot along the floor into Lachlan's goal. Yeah, just a good finish. Far corner. Slow to save it. It's a mammoth task now to come back to this. Um, corner for Stockport. It's whipped in. And it's bobbling around. Jennings got it. It looks like it's been turned in, certainly by a Vauxhall player. It might be Marcus James, just, just come on. Ball was bobbling around after the corner came in. And it fell to Jennings and his shot. It looks to be going wide. And Cannon's off. Cannon's off a box or defender. Look at Marcus James. And now Stockport's at four. He's got Newby in support. He switches it on. Cuts back. He chips it in. And it's Dorcas is round the back of the post, at the back post. And he overpowers two box all defenders of Cooper and James to get the header in. And Lachlan had no chance of the header coming from two yards out. Just getting away from box all now, Steve. Yeah, yeah, the fitness, the, the Reds have gone a bit, gone 3 4 nil down, now 5. Um, we don't deserve it, but. Stockport will keep putting us to the sword if we get a chance as well. Just need to uh, just need to dig as deep as we can and just see it through and, and we've done great to get to this far anyway, but it's not nice seeing them move five like five anyway. Don't, don't, it doesn't deserve to be a five one game. That's the time for the referee blows his whistle on the 90th minute mark. And so ends Foxhall Motor season. On if we're honest, a bit of a disappointing nose for Steve. Players have got nothing to be ashamed of. He defeats a 5-0 in the Cheshire Senior Cup final, but as I said, it wasn't a 5-0 game. But this cup run has been pretty special. It has, it has. Um, Sam here, away. Run calling into a fly in the league above. Last game, semi-final. Um, penalty shoots out, keep a scoring, keep a saving. It's been full of... Uh, been full of positive moments. Today we've come up against a team, obviously, flying in the conference, full time. Um, they've gone about it very professionally. Um, we didn't deserve, get deserve to get beat 5 0. You know, we've kept the chances limited, bring a bit of fitness towards the end, showing a bit of quality in the finishing. But um, I hope the lads have enjoyed it, you know, to learn to care for them. They don't, they don't deserve it, they'll they let them be down, but at the end of the season, We've done fantastic well to get this far and you know roll on next season and let's have another good call on it.
the Moses has arguably saved their best performances of the season for this cup run with this Cheshire Sea Cup final it's just one game too far as the class told Stockport County are the winners of the Cheshire Sea Cup by five goals to nil. I'd like to say thank you to Steve not only for tonight but for all the games that we've shared together and I'd like to say thank you to everyone at Vauxhall Motors certainly from my perspective it's my first season at the club I'm already looking forward to the next one. Steve, summer box all season for us before we finish. So what I'm not going to use the same I've used the good bag at the ugly anymore. I'm going to say it's a positive getting to this final. I think Nick McGrath's building so on. I think we can have a really good goal next season. We've had ups, we've had downs. The lads have stuck in. We've stayed together. Um, we've got a well-deserved break coming up now. Like I say, we'll come back a year more wiser next season. Um, and hopefully we can push for that promotion to get into the into the northern northern leagues um, and push on from there. But disappointing night. But you know, I think a bit of quality showed in the end. The fitness um, we've got not to be ashamed of the lads. Roll on next season. There you have it. Roll on next season. Thank you everyone for joining us for t- this game and for the whole season. And we'll see you next season. Up the motors. strong with his selection. I thought for an hour we were really, really good. Um, conceded silly times just before half time, just after, which I thought killed the game. Um, and then just fitness, you're playing against a full time team and our legs are gone. Disappointed 5 0, I don't think we deserve to be beat 5 0, but you know, it's a proud moment for us, you know, to come and play a stadium like this in front of a big crowd. And I thought we, we accounted ourselves very well. Just the scoreline was a little bit disappointing in the end. Yeah, we, I think you know, we had a game plan. I, th- I thought it worked. I mean, for 40 minutes, it's 0-0. We've, we've had a chance, a good chance from and um, They've had a bit of the ball and a few scrambles. But other than that, I thought, I thought we contained them quite well. But I think as soon as the first goal goes and it changes the game, and right on half time, <clears throat> and then to come out and good half time team talk, lads were still thinking we could still get something out of the game, and then you can see straight away. It's, just ended the game for us and then you know obviously we, we battled hard and fitness told in the end and just outclassed. This game summed our season up to be honest, we were we were good in parts, bad in parts, and just summed the season up in, in a whole you know, I've been proud to manage this team this season. We've we've had some really good highs obviously like today. Lows where we've had a bad patch in October, November where we couldn't buy a win. Um, but we've come good at Christmas. We've uh, recruited very well and you know, I'm positive for next season.